we will see the teradata join strategies so teradata join is different and the join strategy is different so join strategy is nothing but teradata optimizer literally will do this uh, type of uh, join strategy and they will make the joins okay normally we are going for uh, different table joins right so how it will take the joins so we will see now whenever uh, we are doing the joining right so on the columns Teradata will look for the joint strategies. So, so based on which is the least uh, cost plan, it will execute and then it will uh, do the joints based on that. Okay. So it will consider three main parameters. One is like a table size. So how much is the table we are going for like the left table, right table, which table is uh, bigger size or lesser size. It will go for table size and then the primary index information and then stats information. Like we have four types of join. One is merge join join uh, strategies nested join strategy and row hash and product okay so okay. first of okay. all merge join it will have four different type of strategy to follow so teradata will take care we are not going to handle it okay so teradata based on the join column it will take care okay we are not going okay. to see this okay, okay we are just we are making the join the column name okay whatever the join condition we are making based on the join condition it will go for the join strategy the first strategy will be merge join strategy one okay so it will have but upa column so both are like upa so as we have seen in the morning so if both are in upa it will be on the same amp the data will be on the same amp row distribution or data distribution will not happen for this scenario and the data will not be moved to school space ratio also mm -hmm. and it will take in a very faster way okay like uh, since uh, the data are in the same local amp it will make the choice and it will, it will create the results okay and no data has to be moved into spool space or into the others uh, no distribution will happen and join can perform in within the uh, local amp itself so that is why it, it is performed very well okay next join strategy is one is upa column the join whatever the join condition we are making one is upa the other one is uh, no pa okay so it's not a pa column right so here consider two tables like uh, amp1 and amp2 and two tables are uh, department table and employee table if you consider this table if you look at this table so here uh, you have the upa column Dep in departments table department id is the upa column okay so unique primary index in employee table employee number is the upa column unique primary index yes. okay. okay but in employee table the department number is no pa column okay so no. we no. are going to join based on the department id so you okay. this department id with this department id okay. so one upa one no primary index okay yeah. no. so no. if you if you are going to join this how it will be like you have uh, the data like this right so you have the 10 uh, 10 and 20 here 10 and 20 here okay so here i have 30 and 40 here i am 30 and uh, 40. so 30 is available here right department id 30 is available here so this employee table will make uh, either it, it can handle two way one is it can move the small table into the school space and they can do the joins okay otherwise it can handle whatever the data is for joining this 10 is needed right so for example here 10 is available 10 is available so it will make department name is sales correct for this one yes. and 20 yes. is available 20 is available it will make market but here if you look at 10 is not available here okay so mm -hmm. what teradata will do whatever it is not available it will move this data to spool space this space so here it will make uh, this this record okay 10 and 20 to spool space and also this this record right 10 so 10 from here so 2 and 10 it will be moved to the spool space okay so then it will make uh, 10 and 10 here then 20 and 20 here and the 10 this 10 is available on the local app it will do the join okay so this is what it will make the join condition this is this is like a second join strategy okay one table will be moved to spool space the third joint strategy is so here we are going to see this uh, department table and manager table so both are like no pa column okay so here i have uh, 
manager table in department table i have manager manager id something manager employee id and uh, manager table i do have uh, like manager number okay if you look at here here i have 1 and 4 here i have 3 and 4 okay? okay so 4 will get managed right 4 will get uh, joined but 3 it will it is not available so here 3 is available here okay yes. so here 1 is available here so 5 is not available 5 is available here but 1 is not available one is available here so what it will do in this case terra data redistribute the both the tables okay it will make okay. it will swap it into the spool space redistribute mm -hmm. so whatever the uh, date needs it will redistribute okay. based on it that will it will collect uh, yeah all those data the, into the uh, spool space and spool space then and it then it will make the joins okay okay so okay. based on that it will make the joins so it will bring for example this is the first table this is the second table it will make 3 mm -hmm. and 5 year 3 and 5 year so the same way 1 and 4 year 1 and 4 year then it will make the joins so this is what it will do on the third strategy the fourth strategy okay. is small table and big table okay so if i have 1 million record in a table and uh, some 10 records in other table so it's very com comparatively very less okay 10 mm -hmm. 10 means or 100 means it's very uh, 1 million and compared to 100 is very less so what it will do yes. whichever is having like very less table right it will make the less table into all the amp it will redistribute mm -hmm. the terra data will duplicate the smaller table across all the then it will all the data will be on the same local amp right then it will make it joints okay. so okay. whatever the for example 20 and 10 and 20 10 and 20 and all the amp it will make the full space it will bring the data into a full space and it will mm -hmm. it will do the joints okay yeah. so this is what fourth joint strategy next joint strategy is nested joint this is what we will use in real time okay nested uh, joints okay. like uh, okay in a, like in real time how we should take care of what these no no, no. Uh, this is not we are going to take care we like, are not uh, we are we are using yeah. the primary index right indexing column yes so based on that it will okay. take so normally if you are joining based on the uh, upi okay. and like the, internally what the, uh, happening uh, internally it will happen right? yeah it. internally yes. it will happen so okay. sometimes how the terra data so you are getting full space issue right so yes, if you are uh, if you so are not uh, joining properly then you may get full uh, space issue it will it will bring all the data into a full space redistribute it, uh, will not happen so you are getting mm -hmm. some so this is also bringing the data into full space school and space. you are doing some calculations arithmetic calculations you are doing some sorting okay. or testing something then spool space will become it will lock up completely then it will get failure so next one we are going to join so for example this is employee table this is department table this is nested join okay so here in employee table employee id will be upi column okay mm -hmm. upi column here in employee table department id is non unique secondary index we are creating this also index column this is indexed column so since these are indexing column right so we are going to join with uh, one more table called department table this is also department table so we are going to join with inner join right inner join department table department id and also we are going to use some filter conditions okay so apart from the join condition we are using some filter conditions so here we are using filter condition is department id equal to 10 okay what it will do to the terra data so only 10 is needed right so it will redistribute from this 10 to this sample also okay so why because it is going anyhow it is going to limit only for 10 only so other record it no need to have right so it will bring the 10 into spool space and it will make the joint so that is why if you are if you want to restrict more data for the joints restrict it so the school space will get it will not get more space okay and also in this case the department id is again indexing column only non unique secondary index so indexing column with indexing column it will make uh, easily the joints okay so that is the very uh, precious method which is available in terra data this is called nested join so if you are making any var class apart from join condition it will go for nested join 
then we have product okay product join so cartesian product if you don't use that condition right join condition if we are using join table okay so a table comma b table inner join b table but you are not using join condition you are using some other condition here you are using select e dot so e dot emp d dot department from employee table comma department table but we haven't to give employee dot department id something like we need to give right we haven't give some other var class we have given so what to do if you don't use condition right join condition it will go for cartesian products so it will take every record in the first table it will join with one record all in the, the uh, next okay. record then again second record okay. it will go for all the record third record will okay. go so if you have a 10 record here 10 record there then it will make 10 into 10 100 record it will create so this is what it will make uh, the product join cartesian product so this is what cartesian product even here we are not going for something like uh, var class also we are not going so var class also missing so that is why it will go for some cartesian product okay and we have exclusion that where uh, date like some yeah something where emp like yeah something we are giving like right, some var class but here we haven't give join condition uh -huh. join condition also we haven't give right but simply we have one, one more var class it will go for cartesian product and then it will go for some var class after okay. result it will go for var class but below mm -hmm. even we haven't give the var class simply oh. we have given a table comma b table that's all okay. we give some var class also it will restrict some data but if you don't yeah. give var class then it will have, cost more uh, school yeah space that space. is what cartesian product okay? okay it will cost lot of school space it should not happen mm -hmm. should not yes. happen okay so to avoid that cartesian product always normally you have to check whether it is going for product join okay and one more join type is exclusion join okay exclusion join exclusion join is nothing but not in condition you will make whenever you are going for not in condition first it will execute this one whatever the data it will it will avoid that particular record and also we are using that var class also So if this is called exclusion join, okay. something like uh, it, it will not go for the uh, not in not in condition. So this is like exclusion. Okay. Then has join has join is nothing but uh, by default Teradata itself it will take the take care about the has join. Okay, we are not going to do it. Okay. So okay. some has algorithm it will create. For example, if you consider these two table, the employee table and uh, we have the department table. in employee table employee id will be a upi in department mm -hmm. table department id will be a upi okay here i have 10 here i have 20 you are going for employee table inner join department table you are making on emp equal to manager em employee so you are not going to join with uh, this column upi column to upi column you are going for mm -hmm. department this one okay so emp with emp with upi with some non up column okay no. this one yeah. okay so yeah. one one you have but uh, you do not have 99 88 something right yes so it, it doesn't have so if you are going for inner join so what it will do the hash join process is is bad the smaller table is shorted by the row hash and duplicated on the every amp table so whatever the table is small table the teradata will make this sorting sorting algorithm and i need only for inner join right inner join only 10 is is there sorry yes. manager emp one is there other no, manager only three five. is not there so mm -hmm. here manager emp 70 is there only 70 and 70 it will make the join okay other record will it will get uh, filtered out right in the mm -hmm. join so it will make the algorithm yes, like yes. Uh, sorting algorithm but it will it will make the joins so these are all the join strategies we have in teradata okay so normally it will go for uh, uh, merge join and nested join only so but anyhow we are not going to do anything on the join strategy okay so teradata will take care so we will see some sql queries like uh, um, in a faster way like uh, something we are not going to execute one by one we will see something like uh, uh, what are the queries we have tables where 
table name like if I'm going for some whether I'm going to check whether I have the customer table the database, okay? I'm checking BPC dot tables so where table name you and I can restrict the database name equal to something. So you have the table name called customer, right? In retail. So select start from retail dot customer. So you have two records. So I have something like a customer table. It has country ID. Okay. It has country ID. And I have table called country underscore join, I think so. So country table. Okay. Here I have a country ID 200. Okay. Here. So in customer table, I have like a, something like 200 only. Okay. So I'm going to join this table. So you have one more table, city table. So from city, you are going to join with other table. So you have a customer join. First table is customer join. So I'll be taking this table, this mm -hmm. table. We will see now joins. Okay. So how to make the joins. So here it might be the customer ID will be a primary index column. And in this table, country ID will be the primary index column. Okay. Primary index column. So if I want to join these two tables. So common column is country ID, right? So if I want to do the inner join, how will you do the inner join? It's very simple. So I'm going to do inner join. So I will check what all the columns are there in the table, right? First of all, how will you do the inner join? Inner join is nothing but common record between both the tables, correct? Yes. So here I will go for select column names from first table. So first table is customer underscore join correct customer underscore join uh, so i will make the database name okay so inner join inner join second table is retail dot country retail dot country this table i will make it like a this table i will make it like b okay so then on condition on a dot country ID. okay so the common column is a dot country ID equal to b dot country ID. So this is what you have to make. Then you have to go for a dot customer ID. Customer ID. So a dot customer name. So whatever the column you have, you have to select it. A dot mobile number. M O B underscore a number. A dot email. Come on. A dot country ID. Right. Country. Country underscore ID. Come on. So another table is B. B dot country name. Okay. So country name, so you have to select it in this way. This is called inner join. So you have six record here. So you are getting five record only. So one record is getting filtered out. So what type of join it will make? What type of join strategy it will make? If you, if you see here, so which is the, uh, do we have UPI column? Yes, you have the customer ID is the UPI column. Okay, but here we are making country ID, it is no UPI, correct? So in this table, we are making, this will be a, Country. country ID is the primary index. Okay, country ID is the primary index, not a UPA column. So you are joining PA column with no PA column. Okay, that is what it will make the join. So it will uh, it will make the redistribution, the uh, spool space. Okay, so how it will be bringing the data? So based on that, it will, it will do the redistribution. But since we have very less value of uh, data, so it will bring that. Easily. This is what will happen. This is like inner join. If you are bringing, so inner join, you know, right? So common record both, both the tables. If it is not matching, it will not fetch. So that is what the inner join will happen. These are all the tables. Okay, what we have in the, in the database, we have the same record. So here I have a record here. So if 200 is 200 matching, you will get record as India. 204, 204 is matching, you will get UK. 202, it's like USA, 203, Singapore. Only matching records. Yeah, 205, it will not come in the inner join. It will get filtered out. Why? Because Very 205 true. is not available here. If you are doing left outer join, so left outer join, all the, all the record from the left table, right? Left table. Matching yes. record from the right table. If it is not matching, you will get null value on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. 
and also left right outer join all the record from the right on table the left, on the right table yes and then matching record from the left matching table if it is not the, matching yeah. you will get okay so in this uh, scenario so for example i want to find out in which country i do not have my customer and i can go for right outer join and one more condition customer id is null then you'll be getting this record alone this way you can find that uh, so the country where no employees are working same way here also i can go for some where class here where so b dot country name okay b dot country name equal to india i'm making okay india so this is like a nested join right so only india so how many of them are india it will bring the data so this is what two members are from india so it will go for nested join condition mark instead of inner join if you want to use left outer join you can use left outer join left join and removing this where class okay where class just you are selecting it it will give you that okay 205 is a null null on the right hand side right so if you are if you are making like right outer join right outer join right join or right outer join so this is what it will make so you will get a null value on the left hand side china i do not have anybody any customers so why you are getting null value here so if i want to get the customer id then i have to go for b dot country id from the b table i can get the country id okay then which country it's from so get if you want to get only this country then i have to go for okay in which country i do not have employee then i can go for where a dot customer id is null okay you will get only that record so you will not select these columns you will not select these columns only these columns you will select so you will find that okay in this country only i do not have any customer right so this is what you can go for right outer join or left outer join or full outer join any join you can go and then you can bring the data if you have like a three tables or four tables how will you make the joins for example you have one table called customer underscore customer join underscore three right or underscore join three customer underscore join three you have one table called uh, here it has city id not country id mm -hmm. then you have i think you have a city table select star from retail dot city it has some city id right city id and you have the country id these three table you have to join it these three table you have to join so here city id city name country id right so in this table you have uh, country table you have to find out how many of them are from india how will you make from this table so first of all three table join right so the same way you have to write select column name from first table first table is this one right table inner join whatever the join you want to have you can use a join type inner join second table city is the second table right this table and this table we have the common column called city id they are making this as a a this will be b so on first you have to join with two tables on a dot city underscore id equal to b dot city underscore id okay again you have to do inner join inner join Mm -hmm. Okay, in the join third table, third table is this is the third table, right? Third table, and again on, on addition, B dot country ID equal to C dot country ID. Retail city C bit. Ah. Okay, C dot country ID. So you have to city C. City C. You have to put here uh, whatever the column you want to have, you can select it. whatever the column you want to have you can select it so a dot customer id email a dot city id right id comma b dot city name but the columns are there in the uh, join three city name right city name uh, city name is there in b table comma b dot country id b dot country id c dot country name. this one will be country or city city we have already joined Right, this will be city. Okay, this is what join. 
you want to make only for india then after this you have to go for rare class where c dot country name equal to so you can say like these many country uh, customers are from india you know so okay so you have five customers are from india so this is what you can say for example you are having one more how many customers are from chennai okay and the condition and the city name right city name is there in b table b dot city name equal to chennai so you will make this way right okay something you are making you are getting some this is a joint condition you are getting some value but sometimes you are not getting value for example here you you made it like usa can you have to lot up why because yeah. usa there is no city called chennai right zero yes. record if you are running join query if you are not getting any record or you are not getting corresponding value how to backtrack it so first of all you have to run like this you remove all condition to run it okay. you check whether the data is coming or not yes it's coming then you can identify okay so in usa i have only city name called new york that is why i am not getting that for chennai or you can check whether i have uh, chennai in the whether i have chennai in the city so i can run it yes i have the data for chennai but it is there in country in india you are making country name equal to usa that is why you are not getting record so you have to you have to backtrack in this way only if you are running any join query complex join query if you are not getting any value you have to run it this way and i have to find out so i have table called employee okay i have table called employee if i want to find out what is the maximum salary for for the employee then i have to run it in this way right maximum salary i am running yes okay 50000 is the maximum salary i want to find out who is getting this maximum salary so can i run it turn this way yes we can select my this will not run no the no need i want to find out who is getting this maximum salary from running this it will not execute why because this is aggregate function select name from so i want to find out who is getting maximum salary right so i cannot go directly in this way name comma max of salary i cannot go why because remember this if you are selecting a non aggregate column with aggregate column you will get error so for this you have to go for the sub queries sub queries nothing but we have uh, three different sub query one is like uh, single row multi row multi column okay this one will be inner query this will be outer query this select will be inner query so for example you are going for select okay inside one more select you are right so this will be inner query this will be outer query so inner query will be executed first the resultant of inner query will be supplied to the outer, outer query query okay so normally we will run like single row sub query what is that single row sub query the inner query right should always return only one row that is called single row sub query for example if i am running this query what is the max of salary i am getting this value 50000 right 50000 i am making here select star from employee where salary equal to 50000 then i will be getting who is getting that 50000 right okay yes. this person only is getting maximum salary but we don't know that is but 50000 you cannot make it like hard coded value right instead of yes. this you are going for sub query here yeah. so if you are using this entire query here then it will be a single row sub query single row sub query means this inner query should always return only one row only one record okay. only one row okay then it it will give you like uh, the same result whenever that data is getting changed also tomorrow 51000 is the highest salary means that person will will bring up okay multi row sub query means the inner query is returning more than one row here for example the year wise i want to fetch uh, maximum salary so let's start from the employee we have some data now okay whatever the data we have it is available so now i am going to check what is the maximum salary for the table right who is getting maximum salary okay so 85000 this person is getting maximum salary reka is getting maximum salary then select max of salary 
group by department id i am making okay dept underscore id each department i am selecting maximum salary right uh, what is i call it department number department number i am selecting this uh, this particular query i am executing this query so so four department i have one one record is coming right i am using this one and i am using each and my aim is to fetch every department who is getting higher salary that is what i want to have it so if i am executing this this query will not work why because if you are using equal here okay so equal or not equal or less than greater than okay any operator here in the sub query Error data or any database will assume that the inner query is single row sub query. If you are using any other relational operator, error data will assume that this is single row. But how many rows it is giving? Multi row, right? The inner query is returning multi row. So that is why it will not execute. In. So you have to in. put in. So you will be getting salary in. Okay, you are getting salary. So you need to get four record only, right? Four department you have four record only you have to get correct. So you are getting tenth department okay sixty five thousand the highest. Twentieth department eighty five also is coming and seventy is also coming. Why? It should come only eighty five thousand right? Same department. So my aim is to fetch each and every department. Only eighty five thousand should come. Come okay. So here I am using select max of salary right from employee group by department number. So oh, each and every group will be getting this particular record, right? This yes. particular salary. So what is outer query? Select star from employee where salary in. So whoever is getting this salary, it will be coming. So that is why twentieth department, two of them is getting the eighty five also getting and seventy seventy thousand also getting. That is why eighty five is the maximum salary for twentieth department. Seventy thousand is maximum salary for. Part of the department. That is why inner okay. query is returning. In the same department, two employees are getting. So why? Because this salary, someone is getting in another department. Since you are using in class, it is matching that. Okay. 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 To avoid okay. this kind of scenario, you have to go for multiple column. Got it? Yeah. Some other name or name or. So this one instead of no no not other name. instead of fetching the maximum salary alone in the inner query you are selecting only max of salary alone right instead of fetching maximum salary alone you get okay. along with the department so get yeah. department also department Then, uh, select star from employee where department number comma salary in select department number comma max of salary so this is why will be fetching only one record is coming now this is why multi column sub query so multi column sub query also very important so you know how to find duplicate record in a table you know right distinct to use no no distinct will not give a duplicate record this employee number you have to do group by okay you take employee number as group by you make the count you make the count employee number comma count so i said right so non aggregate column you should not select from count But if you are using this column and group by, you can select it. If you are selecting it, so if it has any duplicate, okay, one not one two times is there, then you will getting some two or three something, right? If you want to filter out a record from a group by, then you have to go for having plus. That aggregate function is nothing but, for example, select max of salary from employee. It will give you. What is the maximum salary? Maximum minimum salary, salary. Okay. sum of salary. Everything will give you, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I want to get it. Who is getting this maximum salary? Then I cannot go for select first name comma max of salary. I cannot go. I cannot go for this way. First name comma max of salary. I cannot go. Why? Because this is non-aggregate. This is aggregate column. Yes. You cannot yes. select it. So non-aggregate column you cannot select it. That is why it's telling the error. Okay. So I want to get it. Then uh, then only we are going for. Uh, I want to find out how many employees are there in each department. How many employees are there in each department? Select count of staff. Right. Count of staff from employee. Employee. 
so if you are making count of star employee it will give you total number employee. six employees are there totally out of which each and every department how many employees are there then group by group by department number it will give you but i may not know one. i may not know what is this department what is this department right so for that i can select here department number so this is not aggregate column this is aggregate column you may ask question how will you select non aggregate column with the aggregate column it should be in group by if it is there in group by then we can go for yeah then we can go for okay it is giving right can give it is giving the value so department id comma okay so in which department we are having more than two employee more than one employee Where uh, count star is greater than? We will use where class, right? Where count of star greater than one? Am I correct? It will not work out. Why? Because this is group by resultant, correct? If you want to filter out group by resultant, then you have to go for having class. instead of where where means a physical column should be there the count is derived column so you have to go for having having is nothing but whenever you are having result of the group by group. resultant of the group by if you want to group filter by. out if you want to Then filter out should go for having having the okay. okay clear yes so that is why we are making here okay so we are making right so where is it yes here we are finding employee number employee sorry department wise count we are finding something like employee number so i want to find out whether we have, we do have duplicate on the employee number how will you find i want to find out whether duplicate is there in the employee number so you assume that you have 1 million record 1 million record is there here mm -hmm. okay 1 million 10 lakhs record is there okay if you are making distinct of employee number if all the employee number is distinct you will get all the number right but i want to find out whether we have duplicate in the employee number or not can you make employee number group by select count of star employee number greater than 2 greater than 1 okay yes. count of star from employee group by group by employee number having group by employee number So this is what you have to make. Then employee number. If you are using group by, you can select employee here. Employee number. There are. If you are not getting any value, that means no duplicate. Okay. If you are not getting any value, you are you are not having any duplicate. Okay. So that is why you are having it. This one collapse function normally we will use to handle null value. You can use it collapse of uh, any number of argument. Okay. Argument one comma argument two comma. Argument three, come on. Any number of argument you can use it. Okay. Argument two, three, like this you can use it. So what it collapse function will do? It will return first not null value. It will return first not null value. For example, if t argument one itself not null value, it will return that value. So select collapse of five, come on six, come on eight. I'm executing. I want to execute this statement. it will give you 5 why because 5 itself not null value if it is null if it is null value is coming then it will give you 6 is also null then it will give you 8 so everything is null then it will give you null only so coalesce function it will return first not null value you got it okay in real time uh, yeah in real time when we will go for this coalesce function for to return you know, So, for example, I have something like uh, I am collecting okay home phone number from you. I want to collect either home phone number or office phone. Some form I am asking phone number. Enter your home phone number, office phone number, cell number. I am asking these three. Someone will write home phone number. Someone will write office phone number. Someone will write cell phone number. Someone will not write anything. So, my first preference is. you check whether home number is present okay if home number they have given you take that phone number if they didn't give that phone number so it will be blank that column will be blank right then you take office phone number 
okay if that column also blank you take the cell phone number if everything is blank by default you give like no phone number so this is what the coilless function will be used so something like uh, null value to handle with null value this coilless function will be used in real time okay